boys make major moves. Still the same ones that I came with. Up in a payment, told you we nothing to play with. Guess some things unchangeable. Me and my thirst insatiable. So we all big time. Face on my rollie on big time. Face on my goals, that's a big climb. Still my floor's unshakable. Run it up, I cannot quit it. I need it, I ain't where I wanna be. I can admit it. Never submitting, I'm fighting my darkest of thoughts. I am a force. I harbor the light that's inside of my heart. I write in my art and give you my story. You the witness. I came on a mission to give you my pain and give you my glory. All this time, I'm on the grind. Oh, I'm shining. Nothing can stop me. All these years, blood, sweat, and tears. But I'm still here. Nothing can stop me. Run it up. Came all the odds. I ain't been playing it safe. Nah, I was just giving my all. I'm taking it there. Hop in the rafe and we laying the stars. I made it happen to boss. Yeah, I was just playing my cards. I'm taking it there. I'm taking it there. I'm taking it there. It's gonna be a riot. That means quiet. I got the can of gas. I'm about to ignite. I am driven. I won't ever get tired. Cause I've been left behind. I have to get right. Waiting on the sign. Now I just wait on myself. Got nothing weighing on the mind. One thing I learned after all this time, the mountain you carry meant for you to climb. All this time, I'm on the grind. Oh, I'm shining. Nothing can stop me. All these years, blood, sweat, and tears. But I'm still here. Nothing can stop me. Run it up. 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 Nothing can stop me. Run it up. 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 Nothing can stop me. coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Cleveland Browns. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from Cleveland. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. Start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And again, it's Chubb. They're going to drop him behind the line yet again, and things going from bad to worse. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Now it's Watson, a bootleg, rolling to his right. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. A give running right is Chubb. And they're going to stop him. That's all you're going to do, bro, is run the ball. To be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. They'll try the air now with Watson. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long. And that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. 
Now Chubb running right. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Watson off play action. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 40. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory. Right at the 40. They go up the middle with Chubb. Yo, you are fucking annoying, cuz. Like, it's all you gonna do is run the fucking ball? This is annoying. Just because of that. It's been strong, but now it's second and 12. Oh my god, they, they break the tackle. If you can't run this ball, I'm a, I'm a dick, bro. That shit's annoying. That shit is annoying, cuz. And they, get, they keep giving you this bullshit. And, and, and it's, it's funny to me now. A sizable 16 yard chunk there. The drive continues. This shit's annoying. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. All this nigga can do is run the ball. It's just, it's just annoying. This nigga in two clock the, the whole fucking run. game. This nigga's in two clock the whole fucking game. That's just annoying. That's gonna be annoying. You're horrible this game, guys. All he's gonna do is run. Fuck out of here. You're mm, fucking. That's not even wrong. It's just no fun. To me, that's funny. Still <laughs> uh, reset. Look. Look at it, Mama. Look. Look, it's going back on. Martin Luther King. No. <laughs> That he fixed it. You're welcome. <laughs> what? Let's go, bruh. Pick a play. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. They run it again with Cook. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. He had to fight for every yard on that run, shook himself free of a tackle, and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. Allen. 
The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Here's Allen on first and 10. On the catch, it's Crowder. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. That is complete downfield to Knox. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. Now Allen again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Throwing now is Allen. And he's got his tight end, Knox, for a Bills touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his target. It's Schultz. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Throw again on second down. Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Let's we'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. forward for about three at second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Pollard again. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports.
So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Buying time to his left. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Off the play fake, Prescott. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott able to connect with Dalton Schultz. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Extra point by Moore. Up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. come to the line to start their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. First down is Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. Finding room at midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Allen to throw it. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The lines move there, look like nobody open, now second down. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. On second and 10, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. 
And he is going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. And they run the option here on first and ten. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. On second down, Cook. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Allen on third. And that is incomplete. Like what I've seen so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Gonna go on fourth down. To Crowder, and he's got it on the crossing route. Now the Bills are gonna use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bills have taken the lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From way up at the 23. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Open man is Noah Brown. 
And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. To throw once more on second and ten. Prescott, and he comes back with one complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 33. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. And this one is incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. On third down, it's Prescott. And incomplete on the deep ball. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. The kick by Maher is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you wonder if with Alan Torrin, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter from way up at the 23. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Allen going to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Cook. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Now Allen. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle, reset, and try something different. On second and goal, here's the option. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. This Cowboy defense trying to hold him out of the end zone. They've run it to third and goal. to 
throw. It's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. The three-yard touchdown pass, and they are able to add on to their advantage. The extra point by Bass, up and good, and that makes it a 21 to 10 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively. Maybe these guys smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are. But what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position where if they make another mistake, you're there to capitalize on it and take it away from them. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Play action now. Prescott sliding out of the pocket. That's caught once again by Gallup. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 28. throw again. Prescott under pressure and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, the quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yard. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Matt Milano picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. Now Prescott on fourth down. Going to take a shot for Gallup. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick. And the Bills will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Well, we saw... Put